The projection, the projection of debris is a big problem because of the other buildings surrounding the demolition. It can, be it can be very dangerous if you have a lot of projection. It could collapse other buildings. It's a big problem for us. We try to reduce the risk by putting some protection around the walls of the building being demolished. White fabric and wire fence is wrapped around the levels of the buildings that will have explosives planted in them. This is designed to trap the concrete, keeping it from projecting too far. But with exploding concrete comes another major public safety risk, dust. Inhaling dust in large quantities can be extremely dangerous, and dust clouds don't get much larger than when not just one, but two buildings implode within seconds of each other. Jeremy and his team have come up with an ingenious way to keep the dust at bay. And if it works, it's going to cause a big splash. To, reduce the dust, to help reduce the dust, we have set up more explosive charges underneath a number of swimming pools filled with water. The principle, of, uh, the principle behind this idea is to project water up around the building during the implosion to help suppress the amount of dust that escapes the area. The best defense against dust is water, and on this job, they've got a lot of it. Over 100 pools per building laid both inside and out and equipped with their own mini explosive. The charges in the pools will be set to explode a second before the buildings do. The plan being to project water upwards to catch the oncoming dust before it can go anywhere. But in the unpredictable world of demolition, things don't always go to plan. Even if they get the pinpoint timing of all of that right, a change in wind direction on the day could see the water blown in the opposite direction and dust clouds filling the neighbourhood. It's a perfect day for blowing up over 100 paddling pools. Fire engines and security teams are on standby. Exclusion zones have been set up and explosives director Jerome Pecon waits nervously for the countdown to implosion. The preparation has gone well. Everything is ready now for the blast and we're just waiting to be told we can start. Now we are under a lot of pressure. I hope it turns out okay.